What's good guys, so I know it's been a while since I made a vlog and I missed last week which was week 6 or 5 of prep I'm not sure, I'll have to check it out I've been super busy with studies and yeah, life just took hold but I'm back and today I thought I would start the vlog off with two pretty exciting things one is this package I'm not going to try and hold this camera and open and show you guys what's inside but I'll tell you what it is it is my first delivery from Jed North yes I did sign with Jed North left the local clothing company um, and yeah I'm pretty excited to get some awesome stuff out there and work with Jed North which is a Canadian company um, and then the second surprise is is this the KTM Duke 390 yes guys I did it I bought myself a motorbike main reason was well because I always wanted one and this thing is so damn beautiful looks like a bionicle and it's gonna save me a ton of petrol but check out this thing it is sick I don't know if you guys check this I turn it on ready to race no guys this thing is so dope I'm so happy um, I've had it for about two weeks now and it is just crazy guys acceleration on this thing obviously the engine isn't massive but it gets the job done um, and then so I'm just standing in the shade with the mommy van in the background there the reason I haven't been filming so much guys is I've been super busy um, life has just taken over I'm on prep I'm pretty damn moody we got three weeks to go I might possibly be doing another show a week before not because of anything just to get my confidence up I am feeling a bit down it could be the diet don't know what it is um, <clears throat> but yeah we are now almost exactly three weeks out from my main show fitness runway model South Africa I'm getting excited excitement is starting to build up um, the cardio has gone up the calories have come down so you're feeling super lethargic um, I haven't even put on my mic yet because I haven't even got batteries for it that is how bad I've been the last few weeks um, but we're gonna mix up some pre-workout and then head off to the gym so guys I just unpacked my full Jed North order and there is quite a bit of stuff um, my room is pretty dirty right now I'm just busy getting rid of some old clothing and things but this is everything I managed to get from Jed North and it is sick let me just sort out the lighting here check this suede cap it is just so dope a little bit dirty from the packaging and traveling I've got some shorts and these packages are just so cool never seen it before so sick um, vests another pair of shorts another vest a shirt um, some underwear really cool and this is probably one of my favorite things is this Jed North hoodie um, pink and gray really really looks sick and then these awesome socks with uh, like junk food sushi and stuff because you know we're on prep and we can't have all this good food so we might as well have socks with it on um, some more wife beaters an awesome Jed North shaker and then one of these little things it's I don't know what it's called, it's pop or whatever, you put it on the back of your phone. Um, I just saw the website, I wanted to give it a try, I never had one. But yeah guys, that's everything. Pretty dope, my first order, super excited to try everything on. Poison, my pre-workout is going to be supplied by the one and only EHP Labs, as always. Got my two shakers, my Jed North, love this bottle, so dope and my trusty EHP um, but what we're going to be using today is as always one of my favorite pre-workouts zero stim guys so no caffeine none of that stuff doesn't give you a crash but gives you a crazy pump like I mean crazy stuff is absolutely awesome so one scoop of PSI one scoop of RP Max now this stuff does have caffeine in it um, and it gives you a crazy buzz just to get you going especially when I need it now this late in prep um, and then with that every single day before training I have a scoop of Crea 8 the Creatine monohydrate 
and the glutamine guys I cannot explain the importance of those two supplements the creatine and the glutamine in terms of recovery and just preventing you from going catabolic so going catabolic is basically preventing your muscle from eating itself um, and yeah then as always intro my beyond BCAAs guys this flavor I know I've said it before is the bomb paradise fruit it is just so damn good EHP labs really hit the nail on the head with this one um, but I'm gonna mix that stuff up I don't know how guys mix it up and hold the camera because this thing is pretty damn big I got a little tripod here and that's not gonna work out well so I'm gonna mix that stuff up hop on the bike head down to gym got a friend filming today so hopefully he can film some awesome content holding thumbs um, a guy that was helping me with the videos is struggling in terms of work and stuff um, is also extremely busy so we got shoulders hopefully it's a good one I need a good session and then some good deserved rest this afternoon I was up early this morning five o'clock had to do some varsity work and get that cardio in and on a side note shout out to Jed North for hooking me up guys full jet north kit love this stuff this stuff is so comfortable um and it's super creative like you don't see this sort of thing everywhere but let's go shoulders coming straight at you Now I'm swallowed Now I'm the fool while you're breaking rules Dangerous path that I follow oh, Go on, just do what you do to the top
two hour shoulder session down. I don't know if you guys can hear me, the music pretty loud enough. Got all these haters staring at me, but it's not like it's not like I'm filming for no reason. It's something I'm trying to achieve, something I'm trying to do. But on a side note, just train shoulders. It took me about two hours just because I was trying to film, get some content to you guys. Um, one of my mates was helping me out, struggled a bit with the camera, but that's all chilled. I think we managed to get what we needed. Um, now I'm on the stepper, just doing my last 10 minutes of cardio. Um, but guys, just one thing. I know the form is a little bit shaky, but guys, when your calories and shit are this low, and you're doing this much exercise, you're not always going to be in a good mood. Um, gonna be a bit grumpy and you're gonna be a little bitch so like a lot of guys want to come sit and chat while I'm training and to be 100% honest guys at this stage I'm sorry if I am a bit of a dick I'm not like I'm not gonna be directly a dick but I'm not gonna want to sit and talk to you for 20 minutes I have a certain amount of time and I want to get in I want to get it done and I want to do it properly and sitting and chatting between sets just destroys momentum so please just forgive me um, this is tough uh, anyone who's done it before will know and yeah guys I hope you like the shoulder session didn't do much talking because calories are so low and it's just so tough but yeah I'm not here to complain a few weeks out the excitement is building just got to keep the momentum and keep strong. Um, but y'all guys, please like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Leave comments. Always helps out. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Guys, on a side note, if you're thinking of buying a beautiful motorbike, just realize that you're going to need a lot of bags or a super big backpack because there is not a lot of place on this thing to carry anything. Like, if you come to gym and you want to bring weight belt and shit, you're going to have to strap it around your head or something. The other day, I had to carry groceries like eggs around my arms, like, and I looked like such a fool. So think about that. You might, want to, you might think you're going to look badass, but no one looks badass carrying eggs in plastic bags around their arms on a motorbike.